Hey you guys, what's up? I am taping the first part of the BBS 20 awards. This so it's been a lot going on, but I said I have to get these awards out because these are some well deserving awards. Um and I'm truly excited about doing them. Um every year I do these awards and those who have been around for the last six years since I started this. I started this back in 2014. Thank you guys so much for still staying tuned, sharing my videos, retweeting them, reposting them, just giving the word of mouth for um, books, beauty, and stuff. And I'm really, really thankful that you guys have done it. So thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you guys for just, um, just being there. So today's categories we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about the best new author I've read this year, and we're going to talk about two of the best book series I've read this year. Um, there will be more parts to this um, as we speak, so yeah, let's get into it. The best new authors I've read is Robert Covington and Annabeth Albert. First of all, thanks to Laquette, um, I've discovered these two authors, and I just have to say... Um, they're the, they, they were awesome. I got a lot of their stuff, and I like a lot of their stuff. Um, they both write a lot of LGBT fiction. This year was definitely the year of LGBT fiction, y'all. Um, they write a lot of LGBT fiction, um, whether it's bi, whether it's um, alternative sexual styles, whether it's like a LGBT romance and things like that. So I definitely appreciate both of them. Um, Annabeth series, Out of Uniform, I really appreciate, and the Hot Shot series are both published by Harlequin Karina Press. Um, Robin has two books, um, that's under Harlequin. One is, um, as we speak, um, I'm looking at it now. Taking on the Billionaire and Seducing His Secret Wife. Seducing His Secret Wife comes out in February, but Taking on the Billionaire is one of them. I am going to do a review on that later, so be sure to look out for that. Um, but I've read some of her, um, I read like books like Ghost, Third, and things like that. Um, I read Free Agent. Those two books you could definitely um, get a review on. And for Annabeth series, I read uh, Better Not Pout. And I also read the first two books of her Out of Uniform series. And those really touched me. And I'm so impressed with the work those two have did. They really have came in my heart. They are BBS approved. And I just have to say, I really am grateful that I got introduced to them. So I didn't read too many series that I was really impressed with this year. Um, the two book series I was impressed with this year was the Lockwood Lightning series by Jules Bennett, and I was impressed by the Sterling Wives trilogy by Karen Booth, both published under Harlequin. Um, each of them, each of them did a good job on this on this book series. Um, this whole missing siblings, fighting rivals. Um, Three Wives, with Karen's book, Three Wives, Murray by the Same Man Who Died, like, and there's a lot of drama and mystery behind that. Who could not be impressed? So, yes, I totally enjoy both of them series. Um, I would definitely link to each of the series I did, because I think I did each of them individually. So I'll link to the video either down there or above. And I'll link to their Amazon pages so you guys can check out the authors and the series I talk about as well, too. Um, was highly impressed. They both won the um, Best New Series Awards. They I highly, highly am very impressed with them. Um, did a magnificent job. Just really touched my, touched my spirit. So, um, definitely. Um, speaking of series... We're going to talk, I'm, this year I'm going to put the best spinoff series in this video. The best spinoff series is definitely the One Night series um, by Catherine Gerber. And she also did the um, the Wild Carruthers series, which the One Night series was spun off of. When I tell you um, the Valaquay siblings, hot, hot, hot. They found love in different ways. Um, whether it's twinning, whether it's racing, whether it's from... Um, oh, drama. I was so here for it. Those siblings, 
And then Mama Elena was off the chain. I love me some Elena, honey. And Murphy International by Joss Wood. That was um, spun off of Love and Boston Sirs, which features Tanner Murphy's um, older brothers. All of them had drama. Well, they came from ex-spouses. Um, whether it came from um, one night hookups, and whether it came from uh, nannies or all pairs, um, each of them boys had a lot to deal with. Um, I was here for it. I enjoyed each of the series. Finn was def out of all the brothers. Finn was definitely my favorite. He was finicky. He, he just got on my. Oh, he just got on. He just ugh. But I totally enjoyed the Murphy International series. I love a good spinoff, especially when it's spun off properly from a series. Um, I definitely love seeing what that other series is going to bring from the original series that was spun off of. And I was definitely here for it. Um, like I said, those I would definitely um, put, like a lot of the stuff, I would put a link above so you guys could check that out. Check out what I've, um, a lot of the books I've reviewed. Um... So, thank you guys for looking at part one of BBS Awards. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are ready for part two. So, I will definitely give you a, a link up later, and I will talk to you soon. Bye now.